my parents are converts, and so they joined the church when I was three because of the example of people that were in the church. And I know for my, my parents, they were actually searching for three years. When I was born, they said, we really want to find a, a church and um, find a religion, and, and they had a really hard time uh, finding the perfect one. My dad was playing in the NFL at the time with the Oakland Raiders, not the place that you think you'd find the spirit. But um, he had two people on the team that were members, and he constantly was always looking at them and saying, they're so different. They, they do different things. They don't do the things that the rest of us are doing. And after three years of watching them um, just be consistent in the gospel and their principles and Christ-like every day, he finally asked, like, what, what do you guys do? And for, for me, and I might get a little emotional, but it's, I, I was three at the time, but um, I'm the oldest of six kids. And we now have um, 16 uh, nieces and nephews. And so to think that that one moment and two people who just said, I'm not going to be of the world. I'm going to live the way I should live. That has affected my family um, in so many ways all these years and decades later. And it's going to continue to do so for my children. For myself, I, I'm from the East Coast and I don't have a, um, a lot of friends that were members, but I know the examples that I was able to live, I was able to give them a lot of hope in dark times um, in and outside of the gospel. You know, they would ask me questions about the gospel sometimes, but sometimes it was just summer. How can you wake up today and know that things are going to be okay? And it's because of my relationship with Christ. It's because of the examples I've seen of other people and because of what I share with my children. 